Hello, this is Arsene over again, and welcome to episode 2 of my 2D animation tutorial series. Uh, this episode is basically going to, basically going to be about um, how to use the free, an free 2D animation software that I suggested last week called Pencil Animation, and general uses in basic animation, and just generally how to use the software, basically, and uh, how to export, and how to use the keyframes and onion skin and all that so basically that's about it so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the software and once you've exported the extracted the file sorry from the zip file when you download the software you can double click this pencil.exe file here and it should open the software and you'll be shown a screen like this and basically this is similar to every other interface of uh, 2D animation software you'll have a timeline on the bottom you'll have uh, uh, like pencil options and color options on the right hand side and all your tools on the left hand side and uh, all the and the timeline here goes along in frames basically so basically to get started what you're going to want to do is name your layers so that um, you know which one is which and it's recommended that you use the vector layer a vector layer for characters because this is what's going to be moving and the reason why you use vector layers is because uh, they don't pixelate compared to bitmap, layer, bit, bitmap layers where when you zoom in they tend to pixelate and uh, if you use the bitmap layer as a background um, it won't be moving very much so it won't matter if it's uh, going to pixelate so uh, so you're going to want to rename these, and to rename rename the layers, you double click on them, and uh, you should be displayed this box here, and then you just change the name. I'm naming them character and background. Uh, the character layer wants to be at the top, so you just drag the layer up, and the background layer wants to be in the bottom. So, firstly, you're going to select the character layer here, and as you'll see, as I move this uh, red thing along, uh, these are all your frames, and uh, over here is where your frames per second is. Uh, and for general animation, 2D animation, I use 25 frames per second. That's because that's just the accepted frame rate. But um, if you're new, you might want to start using 12. But uh, at the moment, 25 is good for video. So set it to 25 and you're going to want to add some keyframes so you click on the character layer and then click this plus button each plus button uh, adds another frame so you want to do that a few times you could do this after you've drawn each frame but I just think it's easier to add all the frames at the start just as many as you, th you think you're going to need I'll put it as 75 which is around 3 seconds so basically now you want to drag it back to the beginning and uh, for character layer uh, on a vector layer you can only use the pen tool, the draw tool, this tool here for some reason I have no idea why but uh, it's something to do with the whole like properties of a vector graphic and uh, so you're going to want to uh, draw on the first frame and um, down here is the onion skinning and this one means previous frame is shown and this one is the next frame and onion skinning is basically so you can see the last frame underneath your your actual frame so that you can easily trace or draw the next movement so I'll do, I'll do an example and um, so here's a line here's a pendulum and then you go to the next frame and as you can see it's kind of transparent now so you draw the next frame this is just rough and then you go to frame 3 that one this previous frame is now transparent and then you draw the next frame Pre frame 4 draw the next frame next frame next frame okay this is getting really rough now and the next frame and as you can see it's now a swinging pendulum and 
if you're going to uh, preview your animation, you can use this uh, play button here, but it will go through all the frames, if however many you've got. Uh, and this one here is the loop button, so you can make it loop. But if you just got a short clip, then you can just go back and forward with the timeline, and it, you can preview it yourself without really going through all that. Um, okay. Now I'll go through the basic tools in the software. Basically, uh, you have the fill tool, your razor, the pencil, your brush. This is the line tool, uh, marquee select. Uh, it's the hand tool. Uh, to zoom in and out, you uh, right click and drag while you're on the hand tool. Make sure right click is held, and then you just you can zoom in and out with that. And because it's a vector graphic, however far you zoom out or zoom into the image, it's always going to be a perfect black line compared to a bitmap graphic where it would pixelate as you zoomed in. Uh, over here you have the uh, size of your pen and the color settings are over here and um, also down here you can uh, add more layers by clicking the plus button uh, and like a new bitmap layer, a new vector layer and a new sound layer but uh, the sound and the camera layers I'll be going through in, going through in another tutorial but for now all you need is the bitmap and vector layers so uh, that will probably con conclude this tutorial so thank you for watching uh, look out for episode 3 because there's going to be some more advanced animation techniques and uh, also I'll be showing you how to export your end result and also how to import images into the animation as well so thank you for watching